Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let's see, in this video, I'm going to show you how I make a traditional mold from a 3D printed plug. Um, first the plug, this one is 3D printed and this is for my U2 that I'll be um, demonstrating it. You have to finish the surface of the plug, the 3D printed plug as normal and you want to have a mirror finish on it like this does. First thing I'm going to do is trace around here and get the shape onto this board and then I'm going to cut that shape out. So let's get started. Alrighty, we got this cut out now and what you want to do you want this part to fit down in here but you don't want a whole lot of gaps around it the gap to be really wide you want it to be very small so there it is now I'm going to glue these little um, pieces on the four corners here just to get this um, this plate elevated. So here we go. Alrighty, here we have the stab inside the splitter plate. Now, what I've done is made shims inside the splitter plate here these shims here so the stab doesn't fall through and it sits halfway in there so um, half of this is up all around here up here so it goes back down in here just like that Here we have the plug sitting down in the splitter plate, halfway down in there. And what I'm gonna do now is take clay and put all around in the gap here. It's maybe about a uh, two to three millimeter gap around here. And like I said, I'm just gonna fill that little gap with clay. And here I go. Here we have the stab and the splinter plate and the clay has been applied to it all around here. And now what I'm going to do is just put PVA on this. When the PVA dries, I'm going to put a homemade um, surface coat over this. Alrighty, the PVA has dried and now I'm going to put on a coat of um, surface coat that I made. Um, this is nothing, nothing but epoxy, cabosil, and graphite powder. And this is the consistency of it. There we go.
This surface coat is now dry, and what I'm going to do now is mix up some more epoxy with Cabasil and graphite powder. And I'm going to make it a little thicker this time, and I'm going to put it right on here in the corners. And then after that, I'm going to start laying fiberglass and resin on top of that. Here's the mixture that I uh, made. This is the consistency of it. It's a lot thicker than the surface coat that I made. And I want this to be thick like this because uh, these edges like these 90 degree bends right here, the fiberglass doesn't like 90 degree bends, so this fills that, um, that bend in there so the glass lays um, nice on, on here. So, here. Here it is with all the, the epoxy, the cabasil, and the graphite powder mix. Uh, pretty thick all around here. And now what I'm going to do is start laying fiberglass down over this and um, putting the epoxy resin over it and building up a thick layer. And here we have half of the mold now complete. Uh, I've got three layers of 20 ounce uh, fiberglass and resin over this. And when this dries, I'll go ahead and take the splitter plate off and do the repeat for the other side like I did this side here. So. Alrighty, here we have half the mold done and the plug sitting halfway down in here. Now what I'm going to do next is brush on a layer of PVA over this. Once that PVA is dry, then I'm going to mix up a surface coat which is um, epoxy, cabasil, and graphite powder, and then brush that over the whole, all of this. And once that's dry, then I want to mix up a little more of the epoxy, cabasil, and graphite powder, but a little thicker to just go around the corners here, or these 90 degree bends of sharp um, turns. Then once that's dry, then I'm going to be, begin laying up um, fiberglass and epoxy over that and letting that dry. Here is the mold. Everything is dry. I went ahead and trimmed it up already around here and drilled holes in here. They, um, so when I um, put bolts in here, everything will line up properly. So what I'm gonna do now is just pull out the plug so you can see.
And here we have it. And here we have the molds now. And plug. Now with these, what I'll end up doing is taking uh, polish and go ahead and polish these and wax them. And then I can go ahead and start making the stabs for my U2 out of these molds. Now, this is 3D printed mold that I made of the U2, and I went ahead and laid up one um, um, stab already from these molds, the 3D printed molds. So, if, um, in my opinion, if you only need like um, one or two parts, I would recommend just go ahead and 3D print the molds. It's a lot faster. But if you need, uh, in my opinion, again, if you need uh, th like three or more parts, I would go ahead and print the um, print the part and prep it to make molds from a traditional molds like this, because these are very sturdy molds here and probably be able to make hundreds of parts. So yeah, um, again, if you just need one part, go ahead and three D print the molds. But if you need more than you know one or two, go ahead and make traditional molds like this. Subscribe for more.